Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be doing what if a Tom, or what if a common sense candidate is nominated in 2024, and we're going to be doing this for both the Republicans as well as the Democrats, so don't worry, I like fairness. So first off, we're going to start with the common sense candidate. The common sense candidate would demolish Kamala Harris, and it would a de common sense Democrat will also demolish Donald Trump as well. So, for, so let's start filling out the safe states. Of course, the West Coast will be safe for Kamala. Uh, Colorado would be safe, uh, though it would be closer. I'd say Kamala wins it by 10 points at the most. Harris, excuse me. Hawaii, safe blue. Illinois, uh, Harris would win it by 11 points, uh, maybe 12. Illinois is trending more and more to the right. Of course, uh, the Northeast, as well as Maine's first congressional district, um, New Jersey would be won by around 11 points, close to what Alaska was won by in 2020 by Donald Trump. You just fill out these uh, northeastern states. Uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut, as well as Delaware would be under 15% this time around. Uh, now let's fill out these safe red states. Alaska would be better. A common sense candidate would be able to appeal to the libertarians in the state of Alaska, as well as the states of Iowa as well, which is going to be safe. Uh, Utah, Idaho, Montana, the Dakotas, all of Nebraska except its second district, safe. Kansas would be safe and it actually trend to the right this election cycle. A common sense candidate would actually be able to tr uh, do very well in the uh, suburbs. Um, I'm not going to say Texas is safe. I'll explain why here in a minute. Uh, most of the South would be safe. South Carolina also being safe as well. It'll trend to the right, just barely though, enough to keep it in the safe column. Uh, Indiana safe. Ohio will also be safe, as well as uh, Maine's 2nd Congressional District. Um, um, I'm going to say Virginia is also safe. Um, I think sh uh, she'll outperform Biden in the state still. She'll still win it by 10. So, the common sense candidate has 149 electoral votes. To Kamala Harris is 204. Let's start filling out the map. So for likely D states, Minnesota would still be likely D. Uh, the Twin Cities are still going to turn out for for Harris no matter what. Um, uh, there's nothing much a Republican could do, even a common sense Republican. There's nothing they could do. Harris probably wins it by five or six at the most. Um, New Mexico probably likely as well. Probably not around where I usually have it, which is eight or nine points. I think she wins it by six or seven. A uh, common sense candidate would be able to appeal to Hispanics as well as Libertarians in the state of New Mexico. That it includes both left and right leaning Libertarians. Um, let's see. And I think that is all the likely Democrat states. Now let's start filling out likely Republican states. Texas, I think it trends really far to the right this time. I think it goes from a Trump plus five state to a common sense Republican plus eight. So it'll... Uh, because of the da doing better in the Dallas suburbs as well as the Rio Grande Valley, um, probably in the uh, close to the El Paso area too as well, where uh, you do better in those suburbs, you probably push the state back to being closer to a solid Republican state because a common sense candidate would do well in the suburbs because it's common sense. <laughs> of course, there are still going to be p people who would vote against this common sense candidate. I'm not mentioning any uh, any politician because it's hard. To find a politician who is good enough to win a presidential election who will just scream common sense. Um, let's see, another state of uh, Florida, I think this common sense candidate would win it by five points at five points around R plus five, do very well in the uh, peninsula, as well as uh, probably max out in the um, panhandle, if not get close to it, do very well with, um, with uh, Cubans, excuse me. We do very well in Cubans. It probably ends up winning Duval County, if you want my honest opinion, if that is Duval. I'm not good with um, counties, unless it's like Nevada, which I knew I know the two big ones, uh, Clark and Washoe, and I do know some counties in North Carolina. I'm terrible with the geopolit with like the geographic locations of politics. I'm sorry. I I know it. I trust me. <laughs> I'm just um so um. Let's see, what, is there any more likely Republican states? There is not. So these two are the only likely Republican states. So right now it's dead tie, 219 to 219. Starting off with our lean Democrat states. Um, the state of Georgia, again, I don't think a common sense candidate 
with Georgia. Same thing with Virginia. There's nothing you can really do. The Atlanta suburb as well. Still a trend to the left, no matter what. They're not going to vote for a Republican, no matter what, even if they are spouting common sense. So I think this would be Harris plus two in this scenario, which is where I usually have it. Any more lean D states? Uh, no, but we do have all, quite a few lean Republican states. First off, the state of Nevada. Other people would have this as Tiltar, where I'm having my margin at, which is uh, Republican plus one. Uh, I do think it'll be above 0.9%, which is where I start tilt, so it would be lean in my category. I think you'd be, I think you'd flip Washoe County and do very well in uh, Clark County as well. Again, Hispanics in Nevada, you do very well. The uh, Clark County suburbs, you do very well there, which would uh, put it in the lean category. You also do very well in um, Arizona. You do well in the Phoenix suburbs. You would actually win Maricopa County. Now, what a uh, common sense Republican would, you know, he would uh, be very pro, it would be pro-life, but it would say abortion in case of the mother's life, as well as rape and incense. He'd be very hard on that. It would be, he would want a pathway, he wanted to make, like, he wants, a common sense candidate would want to uh, fix the uh, naturalization problem that we have, since it takes uh, immigrants years to become naturalized in the United States. And yes, years, because it takes so long to get through it. So, he would also, he would want to fix our border, as well as the naturalization process. Um, probably not want to raise taxes, but increase spending, possibly. Um, it really is on, it's like really your own opinion on what a, a common sense can Republican and a common sense Democrat would support. It really is up to you, but I'm just going off what I'm thinking of. Uh, he would flip Nebraska's second congressional district. It would be Republican plus two in this scenario. Uh, he would do very well in the Omaha suburbs. A lot better than Harris, because she is just very unpopular. Wisconsin, oh, no, 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 not Minnesota. Wisconsin would be lean as well. It would be common sense plus two, which is where I actually have it as Republican, is Republican plus two. Again, Wisconsin just trending more and more to the right. I do think polarization will play a huge role in a lot of these states, but I do think Democrats would not turn out. And if they do, uh, and if they are Democrats that don't like Kamala Harris, they'll probably just vote third party or for the common sense candidate. Um... North Carolina also goes lean. Uh, I do think that this, um, I do think North Carolina would trend really hard to the right. I think it'll be Republican plus four. Mark Robinson ended up winning the state by three points or more. Don't quote me on that. I do know he got more votes than Donald Trump in the state. So, yes, Mark Robinson got more raw votes than Donald Trump. Fight me. And uh, this, and a common sense candidate would actually be able to replicate that formula. Would probably be able to get around the same votes Roy Cooper. One by so around R plus three, R plus four, and those are all of the lean Republican states. So the Republican only needs seven electoral votes. He only needs to win either Pennsylvania or Michigan. Um, that's all he needs to do to win this election. And the spoiler alert: all these uh, states that are still left up as toss up all go to the common sense Republican. Uh, he would do very well. This candidate would be able to do very well. It's not, it could be a she. I'm just so used to saying he because there's so many male politicians. I'm sorry. Uh, they'd be very do very well in New Hampshire. Uh, a common sense Republican would be able to hit the state hard when it comes to, hey, you guys are fiscally conservative, your prices are rising, your taxes are being raised. New Hampshire. As well as Maine. Maine loves your independent politicians. Look at Susan Collins, Angus King, Jared Golden. They love, the state of Maine loves politicians who aren't establishment, pretty much. They like politicians who will just do what's right, common sense. So I think a common sense Republican would do very well in the state of Maine and actually flip the state for the first time since 1972. And so, the final electoral map, the common sense Republican, whether it's a man, woman, whoever, wins 303 electoral votes to Kamala Harris's 235. Now, give me a second while I uh, play the map. Now we're going to be taking a look at the Donald Trump versus a common sense Democrat, and my cat is playing with the pill bottle for some reason. Very strange cat. Now let's start filling out some safe states as well. Um, New Mexico would be safe in this instance. Uh, pretty much the same reason. He'd be able to hit Trump where it hurt. He or she, of course. Of course, I... Sorry, so many male politicians. Uh, Hawaii is safe. Illinois. Minnesota would be safe. Virginia is safe. Uh, most of the northeastern states 
New Hampshire wouldn't be safe just because the state just hates incumbents with a passion for some reason. Maine at large would also be safe. Some safe uh, Republican states, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, just fill out these states. Montana would be under 15 in this scenario. Let's see. As well as Nebraska's first congressional district, Kansas would not be safe. Missouri would not be safe. Let's see. Indiana would be under 15 as well. And so here is the uh, electoral map, just safe electoral votes. The common sense Democrat would have 221 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 97. Let's start filling out the likely states, of course. I think Alaska would be Trump plus 6, 7, something around there. The common sense candidate would able, be able to turn out the rural vote in Alaska. I know, sounds cursed, but trust me. The urban area in Alaska loves Republicans, and the rural areas love Democrats. Don't ask me. Ask the people of Alaska why that is. Not me. So, the common sense candidate, of course, targets the rurals. Let's make the map all nice and pretty. I don't know why I didn't do that last time, but I just, because I just didn't. Um, let's see, any more rule, or likely, not rule, uh, both Kansas and Missouri will be likely. Kansas would be Trump plus 8, Missouri would be Trump plus 7. Uh, again, the common sense candidate will be able to target the suburbs in the state as well. Probably gets Chase and Candor's, Nicole Galloway's endorsement in Missouri, as well as, uh, Laura Kelly's endorsement in, uh, Kansas, and probably campaigns there a couple times, being able to get turnout in the, uh, Kansas City suburbs. In the St. Louis suburbs, be able to turn out higher. Let's see here. Um, South Carolina is also likely Trump plus six. Again, you probably get uh, the uh, Charleston turnout, Charleston suburban turnout as well. Probably wins it by around what Joe Cunningham will probably win, lose the state by. Probably he'll probably lose by six or seven points in the state of um, um, South Carolina at a minimum or a maximum. I don't know. Uh, I do think if you, but by right now I do think the uh, South Carolina Senate race or governor race will be safe, though there is a chance for it to be likely. That is what I'm thinking. Um, and that is all the likely Republican states. Now let's do the likely Democrat states. Uh, Michigan and Pennsylvania would both be likely. Michigan would be Democrat plus six, and Pennsylvania would be Democrat plus five. Uh, this, that's not a big um, turn to the left. Well, Pennsylvania is, Michigan not so much. It would be a three point, three, four point to the left. Mich Pennsylvania would be a four or five point swing to the left. Again, you'd be able to do well with the white working class in the state, in the uh, Rust Belt, uh, very much. And you'd be able to win back those Obama Trump voters that swung heavily to Donald Trump in 2016. And most of them stayed with Donald Trump in 2020. It was just the turnout factor was on Joe Biden's side. It's actually on whoever Democrat side, and turnout is your key. The common sense candidate would be able to do what Stacey Abrams does in Georgia, and that's turn out massive waves. And the common sense candidate would probably choose Stacey. A the uh, common sense Democrat would probably choose someone like Stacey, Asim, uh, Stacey Asim, Abrams. Sorry, I'm gaffing. I can't help it. At least, hey Joe Biden, take notes. Make your gaffes funny, because mine are hilarious. Um, <laughs> and because that only helps out with turnout in places like the South. Unless the common sense candidate is from the South, then you'd probably want to choose someone from the Northeast or from the Rust Belt. I would say someone like Mandela Barnes if he wins a center race. Sarah Gudlewski if she wins a center race. Gretchen Whitmer, probably not her. Um, maybe John Fetterman or Josh Shapiro if they win their races in the governor Senate level. Possibly. Uh, maybe Johanna Hayes if she's not, a. Uh, uh, redrawn in a um, more competitive district and loses in 2022. There's just so many people you could choose. Probably not a far left person because that could decrease turnout. So, there you go. New Hampshire also, it's still likely, but it'll be Democrat plus five still likely. You'd be able to turn, appeal to many of these uh, Northeastern Democrats, and you're going to be, and the common sense Democrat will be facing an uphill battle just because of the um, how our country is right now. So probably a common sense candidate would be able to say, hey, I'm going to fix all this, I promise. And probably be able to give policy details on how he would be able to do this. Nebraska second should be safe. Democrat plus 10. Again, I think a common sense candidate would be able to turn out the suburbs, suburbs even more and probably uh, keep mentioning the January 6th attack which would make Donald Trump even more hated by moderates if it's, like, brought up and more stories are told and make it publicized even more, which 
may backfire because people are already getting sick and tired of hearing it. That's just my take, because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing it, but even though I made an entire video on the whole thing that got, that was hated by everyone. Um, let's see, any more likely D states? Uh, the state of Georgia would be likely. I know this is my hot take of the video. I think Georgia would be likely D under a common sense Democrat. Uh, especially, uh, it would be safety. Probably not safety under Stacey Abrams, but again, the Atlanta suburbs are just trending more and more to the right. I think this is Democrat plus five. And I think that's all the states that I would have as likely D. So, the Democrat has already won. The common sense Democrat has already won. Donald Trump can win every single one of these states and still lose. So, there you go. There you go. I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, next up, the lean Republican states. Uh, Iowa and Ohio are the only two, um, the only two lean states. I know. Y'all, all y'all are just... I can already imagine some of the hate I'm getting on this video. Oh boy. Uh, both of them, Iowa would be Trump plus two, Ohio would be Trump plus three, Trump plus two as well. It would be close because a common sense candidate would be able to win, or is, would win back all those Obama-Trump voters. He would win all of the Obama voters from 2008, uh, which would help him in the case. Um, and Trump, he probably, Trump would probably still well, do well with the libertarian voters. Pro they probably wouldn't turn out for the common sense Democrat. At least I don't see so. So Iowa and Ohio would still be in the Republican column. And so let's start turning out the lean D states. Nevada, probably Democrat plus four. Uh, max turn, max out in Clark County. Uh, Arizona would probably turn out even more in Maricopa County. Probably ends up winning Maricopa by three to four points. Probably too high from what I'm talking about, but I'm sure the smarter people in the comments will help me out. Uh, probably wins... No, 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 not South Carolina. Uh, probably, no, nah. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh god, I can't, I can't, uh, North Carolina probably wins it by 1%, um, again, black turnout in the state, especially right down here, I think Fayetteville, Wilkin, god, no, Fayetteville's over in this area right here, god, I suck at this, I just suck at the geography. I'm sure I could, if I did more research on geography, I'd be a fucking genius at it, but... Uh, but you know what I'm saying. Turnout in this area, in this, uh, in, uh, southern North Carolina, black turnout was low. They did not turn out for Joe Biden. And for a common sense candidate, they would turn out in droves, which would flip the state of North Carolina blue for the first time since 2008. Uh, Wisconsin would be another lean D state. It would be Democrat plus three. Uh, Wisconsin is just generally trending uh, more and more red, and the turnout factor, especially in the rules, Donald Trump would be able to turn out rules, which is another reason why he would still win Iowa and Ohio. And same reason here in Wisconsin, though, uh, you would be able to turn out the white working class area in, over in this area of Wisconsin out even more, which is probably, the county map would actually probably show that most of these counties down there where the white working class are would be blue, as well as you would be able to win out in the WOW counties as well, as the common sense Democrat. Also, you would win the main second congressional district. Again, Jared Golden, I like to consider him a common sense Democrat. Maybe he's the one running. Uh, if that was the case, he'd probably win main second safe, if not likely. So main second district would be common sense plus three, which is why I have main at large as safe. So you would flip back main second congressional district the first time since 2012. So there you go. And now we have two more states, and spoiler alert, they're both going to the Democrat. Uh, the Democrat would probably uh, sweep, or the common sense candidate would sweep a supermajority of the battleground states. Probably doesn't win every single, doesn't, probably doesn't sweep all of the battleground states, because that's impossible nowadays because of polarization. But you would probably sweep a majority of them. Uh, Democrats would be so happy, you would, a Democrat would have to do better in this, in the, uh, El Paso area, the Dallas, Austin area, as well as the Rio Grande Valley. I'm surprised I know the geog uh, most of the geography of Texas, just not everywhere else. Jesus. Uh, you would also have to do well in Duval, Pinellas, and Miami-Dade, uh, which is not that hard. You just have to not be a jackass to the C Cuban Americans. Don't be a jackass to them. They are Americans too. And you would probably have to campaign here in the panhandle as well, which they're not going to turn out for you, though you would increase the very small Democrat rural turnout that you have, which Democrats should do because rural Democrats would actually help you in certain states like 
Tennessee, Montana, or Kansas, or Missouri, or maybe even Mississippi and Louisiana. Possibly. Don't take my word on that. I am not a campaign manager. So this is the map of the Common Sense Candidate wins 390 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 148. I think the map, the electoral map, favors Democrats right now in a more of a landslide scenario. That's just me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Was this video unnecessary? Absolutely. But did I want to make it? Yes, and that's all that matters. Don't forget to go follow my Twitter at ChaoticPolitics. This is the Chaotic One saying, peace.